Okay. Hey guys, yeah, I'm live. Okay. First time I've used the YouTube live streaming thing, so I'm interested to see what happens here. Um, as you can tell from my accent, um, from the UK, I live in England, and I'm a motoring journalist. I get various cars and other vehicles on test. Um, today I'm in the 2017 uh, slash 2018 Isuzu D-Max uh, AT35 uh, that's is an Arctic Trucks Edition um, you guys outside like America, Canada won't get the Isuzu D-Max but it's one of our um, the pickup trucks that's available in the UK and it's sold massively um, worldwide um, there's a lot of competition with pickup trucks nowadays but um, Isuzu is holding her own to keep you know keep plodding on the fact of the matter is that Isuzu has got an amazing reputation for durability reliability toughness and getting the job done when it needs to be done. Uh, this 2018 is a facelifted model um, of the D-Max. Uh, the differences are, I mean, on, on, this is a special edition Arctic trucks, but the standard edition D-Max, let's go through the differences on the new one, new eight speed automatic transmission. I'm driving automatic. Um, uh, facelift so you've got like a front front end redesign uh, and the main different uh, there's some differences in a cabin not many but there's a few just to make it a bit a bit more uh, livable with a um, little bit more refined so the the, uh, the main difference is that Isuzu are now using a 1.9 litre uh, turbo diesel engine which is uh, an improvement of the old one the old one was a bigger capacity but this one's uh, smoother quieter a lot less agricultural and all in all just a, a better engine than the last one um, it's it's as powerful uh, as the old one and it's got the same towing capacity as the previous generation which is uh, three and a half ton towing capacity and um, just over a ton payload in the bed in the back this is the uh, like true cab edition so it's the four door edition and, um, because it's the Arctic trucks, it rides a bit better. They, there's different suspension. You've got Fox racing suspension on board, and um, also the 35 in 80, 35 that stands for stands for 35 inch tyres. So you've got big balloon tyres on it, which are uh, great. They're uh, Nokia and Rotiva. Uh, I've been using it in a lot of rain recently because it's uh, March, April time. There's absolutely stacks of rain about just hammering it down all every day this is the first sunny day we've had so you know we're um, glad of that after like two weeks of not, not really getting much sunshine um, but basically the Anokian Rotiva tyres although they're sort of designed for uh, off-road use they're not full off-road I'd say they're, they're a mix really but uh, bonus is you don't get barely any road noise off them and they give good grip in the wet which I've found with some tyres such as the ones that are fitted to the Jeep Wrangler at least in the UK uh, if the previous ones go to carproductstest.com and see my review of the Wrangler I mentioned in there which tyres they are I can't remember but they were utterly useless in the wet absolutely appalling so um, yeah these are good in the dry good in the wet got decent grip uh, I can't 
can't complain about that. And on the previous D-Max AT35, um, I actually uh, used that off-road, which I will be on this one. Uh, and they were fantastic uh, in the mud. Um, I'm talking deep mud. Um, uh, good deep water, the whole shebang. Just had to overtake a learner driver there because he was going exceptionally slowly. Plenty of talk from low down on, on this beast. So, um, yeah, so we're doing, sorry if it's vibrating a bit, I'm using camera mount, can't really help, but uh, it's a pickup truck at the end of the day, and that's what pickup trucks do. The, uh, the built for towing and a payload in the back, so the suspension's obviously firmer. Basically, I'm doing 60 mile an hour now. We, uh, uh, so, my load's just dropped into six gear. I'm doing 1500, 1600 RPM at the minute, which is great, good for fuel economy. Uh, you can get about 35 miles to the gallon on a run out of this, maybe uh, 37. Um, I Zuzu have uh, ha had the D Max um, on a like one of those fuel. Uh, use trials, you know, where people compete for the best fuel economy, and um, they got an average of 51 miles to the gallon. How on earth they got that, I don't know. I'm guessing they used the manual for a start, um, but the the uh, how they got that, I don't know, but you know, fair enough to them. Um, but yeah, real estate clear around town. I'm getting 27 miles to the gallon. That's UK miles to the gallon. And let's see, uh, on a road like say 35 to 37 miles to the gallon. As I mentioned, the engine's a lot quieter than the old one. Um, if that or you know, you sound editing, more sound in perhaps. But the the old one just took so long. To um, to warm up, oh, it, was, it was really really noisy, uh, and even when it was warmed up, the actual acceleration up to 60 miles an hour. Once you've sat at 60, you couldn't, you know, the engine was reasonably quiet. But you know, it said it was just noisy as anything. And although, yeah, the, the, uh, that was a really really good engine, as in it was really um, ultra reliable. And um, you know, favoured by uh, farmers and builders and anyone working in the field where you needed to tow stuff regularly in uh, really bad conditions, and um, you needed something that'd just be an absolute workhorse. Isuzu was the uh, is the vehicle to go for really. Um, yeah, obviously there's Mitsubishi. The L200, Nissan, um, with the Navara, and there's Volkswagen, Amarok, you know, Mercedes with the new X Class. But you go out in the countryside in the UK, and the majority of pickups you'll see in genuine farm areas um, will be the Azuzu D Max um, towing massive trailers with hay bales on the back or you know, livestock or, you know, stuff in the back of the, the pickup bed. And um, so basically the, the point is that reliable workhorse is basically the Azuzu way. Okay, the, 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 there are other vehicles, let's be honest, that are more refined. Definitely the Mercedes X-Class will be more refined than the Isuzu in a few ways, but um, The Main thing that they're used for a bit like Land Rover Defenders were uh, is uh, being tough used off-road and um, Absolute wear course. I'll keep using that word don't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, this was just sort of a short drive today. I just wanted to show you how, what it's like. Uh, I'll be putting plenty more videos up. I, actually, I put a few videos up on Instagram, but they just last 24 hours. This is why I like um, YouTube, because um, 
Hi, if you've just joined me, I'm in the Isuzu D Max 8035. This is the Arctic Trucks Edition. Um, you can re-watch this video if, when uh, when it when I've finished. Um, uh, also, the um, Instagram account is at Car Products Tested. I'm on Twitter at Car Products Test. Couldn't fit the full name on. And Facebook Car Products Tested. So uh, follow me all there and. The main thing I'd like you to do is subscribe to this YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel because that'll really help um, with supporting me and um, giving me the, uh, the sort of uh, opportunity to share more videos and stuff with you. So I'll uh, end the video here, but if you've got any questions, leave them in the question box. Um, I will be doing a full review of this vehicle on carproductstested.com. So. Um, go there and have a look at it's a monthly update because I've got this for three and a half months or so so please go and check that out it's not up yet but it will be um, all right then guys thanks very much for watching